Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. So in today's video, we are going to have a look at a new tool called Ask Anything. So Ask Anything is an interesting tool that has released uh, this week, which combines multiple AI models like Vicuna and ChatGPT and couple of others as well. So they have combined all these models to create this tool and the tool is available on Hugging Face Spaces through a Gradio application. So anybody on the internet can test this tool out. So in this video, we are going to test this tool because it says tool for chatting about, you know, video with chat GPT, mini GPT-4, which has Vicuna plus Vision and then re uh, recently released Stable LM, Stable Language Models. So you upload a video file on this tool and you can chat with that video as well. So basically, you know, it all, and it also provides you uh, state recognition, the action recognition. It gives you a caption or the summary of that uh, video and then you can interact with the tool. So you can currently see I am on the GitHub repository which says Ask Anything by OpenGV Lab. Okay. They have online demo available through Gradio. As I said, they have deployed this in Hugging Face Spaces. The best way to deploy these AI models nowadays, open source research community. And they have some details re uh, related to their ongoing activities with this tool. Now, if you come back to their Gradio application, which is through this GitHub repository over here, it says online demo, open any spaces. So I have opened that uh, here. It says ask anything with GPT. It says a multifunctional video Q&A tool that combines the functions of action recognition, visual captioning and chat GPT. So they have VIT models, they have LLM model and they have action recognition model all combined to create this pretty interesting tool. And it says our solution generates dense descriptive captions for any object and action in a video offering a range of language styles to suit different user preferences. It supports users to have conversation in different lens, emotions, authenticity of language. Now, if you come, if you see here, it, the interface, they have a drop video here or click to upload where you can upload your uh, file, basically the video file, or you can also load some examples because they have given you some examples with you. You can watch it and chat with that video, the examples video. Okay. And we'll try to see this. So the first thing, if I click on this, you know, one of the example which this, uh, this video from the examples, let's say it, you can currently see the gradual loader over there. It says in the queue and it's taking time. So guys, they are on hugging face spaces. They might have been using the GPU there and it might take a little time to, you know, inference this model, okay, on gradio. And you know, several people might have been using at the same time. That's also caused some latency issue. Now, if you see, this is a video which is a 10 seconds video frame. This video, the guy you know hitting some baseballs, swing always doing some swings with the baseball. Okay, so this is what he is doing. Now they have some option. You can see it says watch it. Once I click on watch it, the gradio loader again starts loading. And this one says loading videos and hitting baseball. So you got the action here, guys. So this is the action recognition in the video, which is hitting baseball. And I upload a video. So it in the this right hand side that you see the interface section, it says I upload a video. So, OK, the status message, you upload a video about a man playing basket, baseball, sorry, baseball swings, a bat at a ball while other people play baseball. Oh, OK. And now says click chat button. So now what I will do if I click on let's chat guys. So if you see it says please paste your key here. And surprisingly, uh, if I paste my key here, it will be visible for all of you. So of course that I will blur that and I will delete that key after this video. But uh, and I think they would have handled it in a better way. You know, it's a uh, you should have coded in in the back end that it should be uh, like a password hashing or something, right? It should not be visible here on the interface. But anyway, and once I click on this again, I will click on let's chat. And once now I click let's chat, what it does, it kind of uh, give me an option where I can chat with this. So let me ask the question. Is the guy uh, wearing a cap in the video frame or something in the video frame? Now this is my question. Is the guy wearing a cap in the video frame? When I click on the run, what it will do guys, it will try to, you know, retrieve the answer, retrieve the information for me because it says, 
multifunctional video question answering tool that combines action recognition, visual captioning, and chat GPT. Now, if you see, action recognition is uh, the very uh, famous task that we have seen when it comes to deep learning. We, we used to train LSTM plus CNN combined model that we used to call LR CNN to you know, perform this action recognition models. Okay, So they have used action recognition, visual captioning uh, and chat GPT. Let's see, I've asked this question. It's taking a lot of time guys. Okay, because And it makes sense because they are on hugging face spaces. I don't know what kind of infrastructure they might have been using in the back end that they have deployed this model on the space and how many people are using this no, but it might take little time so let me do one thing let me pause the video and then once the answer appears I will come back so you can see uh, I have got my answer which says yes the guy in the video is wearing a cap perfect now let's ask one more question related to this video and then we'll upload a sample video from our side now let me ask this question what is the color you know of the uh, of the mat on the floor or the grass mat okay or, or, of the grass mat on the floor let me ask this question and once i ask this question let's see if it takes time and uh, now the first question that i ask is the guy wearing a cap in the video frame i got yes the guy in the video is wearing a cap maybe i can ask the color of uh, that cap as well to see what kind of you know uh, visual a model that they have been using how accurate is it but you can play around this tool guys it's available on gradio it's it's free but you need an open ai api key to do that and once you uh once you complete this testing please delete your keys from open ai dashboard okay it says the grass mat on the floor is green and this is fine so this is working for this sample video guys and just to give you information you cannot upload a video you know uh, lengthier than 60 seconds in length okay you have to upload a video shorter than 60 seconds now let's click on some you know uh, video here so i will delete this or i will just cut that and i will upload a video where let's upload this video guys so i am uploading this video i click on watch it and i uploaded this video and you can see it will appear here it's in the queue right now loading videos let's see what we are getting you know in the action So in the action you see we got shaking hands okay that the video that we have uploaded and we also have got uh, our caption here which says you upload a video that will be uploaded but you uploaded a video about a man in a suit and tie standing in an airplane with other people in seats let's play this video and see i think this is correct so at least this is giving you the action this is giving you the caption and you can also chat with it on the chat part, this might get improved a bit uh, in the back end. You see, they're asking for your open AI API keys. The one thing that can happen, right? It kind of has the frames, might have been sending to open AI models in back end. Uh, and they would have been generating these answers, you know, from that. Now, it depends on you how you want to use this tool, guys. The tool is available through the GitHub repository. Ask anything on OpenGV Lab. It says, uh, you know, video with chat GPT, mini GPT and stable LM over here. And that's a, a high level view about this app, guys. Okay, this does not look like an open source at this moment. Okay, now if you see their updates, you see video chat, demo is available, explicit communication with chat GPT, sensitive with time and that that's looks correct. This statement doesn't work that good, guys, to be honest. Okay, I... It's an interesting tool that uh, the, uh, I really appreciate, of course, uh, the hard work put by the lab here, OpenGV lab and the team, but really uh, not that impressive, you know, at the first look. But it might get impressive with, you know, mini GPT for video like we have Vicuna over here when you click on that, you know, and it's taking you to the same there. Okay, you see this, how you can, you know, instruction to uh, mini GPT. You can simple extensor of mini GPT for video. This one that you see, you can do it open source. It's completely, you can deploy it locally, how you can use Vicuna, etc. you know, to run this uh, and set it up in your local machine if you have a GPU available with you. But this one that currently you see with chat GPT-1, of course, not uh, an open source model over there because it's taking you the keys, etc. and it is uses GPT uh, models in the back end. Now, if you come over here and you see uh, with Vicuna, if you want to use mini GPT-4 for video, you can set it up here 
that's the way that they have given in the documentation how you can use this prepare the environment if you go back you know you have with moss we have with stable lm which has been released you know uh, you see this stable lm looks good okay you can test this out uh, and how you can set it up locally as well so you can create an environment in your anaconda machine and you install the dependencies etc and you can run this out guys okay so this looks good uh, so far you can test it out let's do one thing I'll, I'll also create another video for covering up with stable lm and you know mini gpt4 you know that will try to run it locally in a uh, uh, in our local machine through uh, anaconda as they have given the uh, uges documentation over here so this is on the chat gpt backend that you see ask anything with gpt we are using open ai apis to you know uh, chat with it so i hope you like the video guys you know and you can go ahead and try this ask anything from opengv labs okay if you have any thoughts or feedback or any question please let me know in the comment box okay uh, and that's all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video